Hey guys, Sherry here from No Foot Skim Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a twin flame reading for October the 14th until the 28th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. I think I'm going to pull four cards for the feminine using this deck. and the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart for the Masculine, so four cards for the Masculine. So um, I'm still not taking any new orders for readings, just to let you guys know. Um, I'm pretty busy with personal stuff as well as the readings, so I'll hopefully open it up in, you know, in a week or a little bit. Actually, I think I'll use this deck for what's being brought into the union. Alright, and I'll use, call it Baron Reed, um, Wisdom of the Oracle, for the union energy. And one for the bottom. All right, let's begin. Well, of course, I'm going to be using my cards for clarifiers. Okay. So, beginning with the feminine... Um, what is in her past position. It's a four of swords. So this card talks about rest and rejuvenation. So it's retreat in order to still the mind and heal your heart. So the feminine has found some stillness, found some peace in her life. And, um, you know, since it's the four of swords, which is after the three of swords, and three of swords is heartbreak, um, she may be healing from some sort of difficult situation. So solar plexus chakra, eight of swords, and judgment. So solar plexus past position, uh, this is strength, courage, will, okay? It's determination, confidence. So there has been a power struggle within the feminine, the divine feminine, um, feeling weak, feeling like she didn't have enough courage in order to fulfill something, and she ended up causing herself some pain or um, or she felt that she need, needed to withdraw from a situation that was draining her perhaps energetically. So the Eight of Swords is the self-imposed prison of the mind. So the, the main card is the Four of Swords which is retreat, right? And it's retreating from this kind of space. Um, so these are oppressive energies coming from the outside making you believe that you are locked out or kept out of something. Um, so definitely a feeling of disempowerment here. So the future position is judgment card, realizing your entire life has just been a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So this is the past or the past or the past or the uh, present or future. Sorry. So this is a card that may have not happened yet. So, you know, the feminine in the past there's a sense of her being locked in the mind, feeling disempowered, feeling um, hopeless. Okay, and there is a moment of clarity and awakening coming in the future. Okay, so it's nice to see the still energy, but I don't like to see that it was um, a cause or a result of, of a negative experience. So let's continue on. Okay, so for the masculine's past position, seek the hermit. So this is retreating also, very similar mirroring happening here. Here's a feminine and here's a masculine. So both 
the feminine and masculine have found solitude in order to make decisions, to find clarity. So the hermit is somebody who detaches from society, from conditioning, from the stories, from attachments, um, and goes off on a spiritual journey, okay, to discover their self. And so there is a higher degree of enlightenment with the hermit card because it's major arcana. This is happening after a traumatic event, right? It was a forced uh, solitude, whereas this ha is a journey of self-discovery that he's been on this for some time. So, you know, there's a lot of beautiful peace and stillness here where, you know, here it's like there's a dirtiness still. There's a karma or negative vibration that still needs to be released with the feminine. The Will of Fortune, Sun card, and the Divine Feminine. So past position is destiny, the Wheel of Fortune. So what comes around goes around. So destiny has knocked on his door. There's a sense that he um, completed a cycle, that things have shifted and things have changed and put him in a more positive frame of mind. Um, the Sun card is the most positive arcana in the deck. So this is a new beginning, feeling on top of the world, feeling free, feeling excited. It's newness, innocence, right? So it's this new beginning, this new start happened. Um, and it brought to him the Divine Feminine, or maybe bringing the Divine Feminine to him. So there's a sense that the masculine has retreated, retreated found solitude. But in this solitude, he found his light. He found inspiration. He found illumination. And it is putting him on a path towards his destiny, which is meeting his divine feminine. Far different um, energy uh, than the feminine. The feminine is in a neg is coming from a negative space, a sad space. All right. So, what is in the feminine's present position? Wow, fertility, very nice. So this card here is coming in the future, right? So um, that is a future of the, the past or future of the future, depending on how you're looking at it. So the feminine is feeling like the goddess, the empress of love, divine feminine. Her heart is open. She feels very grounded. She feels she's in a loving space. And I love to see that you. she's graduated, she's found herself. She loves herself first. The Knight of Wands, Death Card, and Heart Chakra, awesome. Past position, Knight of Wands. Um, so this is fire energy. It's movement or action forward very fast very passionate, very driven. Um, so this is movement towards a goal. So the feminine has been on a journey of enlightenment, right? This, this is spirit, fire. And so I feel that it's, it's brought her to a place that, like it, it's from this fire she was reborn as the, you know, the empress. The death card here is transformation, metamorphosis the butterfly rising from the chrysalis, right? So there was something that occurred in the past that drove her out of a darkened state, right? There's movement from mind to spirituality to self, discovery, right? So the future position is the heart chakra, unconditional love embodying that love even more, right? Just holding space, being at one with all and with yourself, not needing, not desiring, just being open to, to receiving love and giving love, pure. So this card also represents being authentic, not wanting, not desiring, complete and utter detachment and self-love. Okay, so the masculine's present position is the nine of pentacles while well deserved reward. So this is feeling of arrival, 
completion, success, right? You have enough abundance coming into your life where you feel stable. So he feels accomplished. He feels... Um, he, this card is also a card of self-love, right? So this is having money coming in and spending it on yourself, you know, taking trips, um, enjoying the finer things in life. So he feels successful. Very nice that it's masculine standing on top of this tower. Justice, Queen of Wands, and the Three of Swords. So past position, Justice. So this card talks about um, karma as well. You know, I'm just going to switch these around. I'm used to the cards being seen in this direction. Okay, so karma, both happening, past position. Okay, this is karma coming back in a good way. Uh, good luck, good fortune, a completion of a cycle from five to ten years. The karmic card is cause and effect. The energy you send out, you get back. Okay, so this is more of a clockwork universe with the, the Wheel of Fortune. It's destiny. It comes, right? Things have been set in motion a long time ago, so it's material manifestation, I feel. Whereas the Justice card is more of an ethereal 5D feeling, right, of you, um, you know, law, a cause and effect. You send out good vibrations, you get it back. So in the past, the masculine feels that he walked... Um, a conscious path you know what I mean he made decisions that were best for him and that were karmically clear is what I feel so it's brought him to this place of power and stability the queen of wands in his present position again fire energy so the queen of no fucks given so this is somebody who is the center of attention charismatic um, men are drawn to her um, you know, just a very powerful leader. People listen to her because of her ability to transform the vibration from a negative into a positive, into more enthusiastic and motivated energy, right? She can uplift her her audience or the, she influences um, a room. She can turn it to more positive. So fire, passion, creativity, Okay, future position is a three of swords, heartbreak and pain. I mentioned that earlier with the four of cups. So because it's coming in the future position, you know, does this mean that his heart will be broken? Does he feel a disconnect? Um, so I think I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. Where is my Osho? I know it's around here somewhere. Yeah, maybe I'll just use the other call it Baron Reed Enchanted Map. Spirit, what do you mean by the Three of Swords in the Maskin's future position? One Ring Circus. So, I believe that this card talks about setting up boundaries, restrictions, right? And you can kind of see that in these cards as well, right? It's creating this island within himself but externally as well and you can see that again reflected here so it's putting up boundaries it's um you know it's a self-preservation kind of act sorry i don't want to get these mixed up So let me read this card to you. This belongs here. Sometimes this table's helpful, but most of the time it's not. All right, number 15. Okay, so it says, you are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent and capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider 
is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnership at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and another begins, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationship and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. So that coupled with the Three of Swords. Oh, I got, sorry, I got these mixed up. Um, the Three of Swords. You know, there's a sense of him putting up boundaries, and it's going to cause some pain and heartbreak. And if it's the feminine that, you know, the divine feminine that's coming in the future, um, you know, I'm almost feeling like there's going to be some separation. we got a feminine here and a masculine on their own islands and separation and causing heartbreak. So... Um, and it's karma coming back to him. Heartbreak and pain is coming back to him. Yeah, I feel, you know, he's he's putting up boundaries, he's putting up restrictions, and ultimately it's going to he's going to cause him self pain. A self-inflicted, you know, you, you think you're protecting yourself um by putting up these boundaries, but ultimately you are not you're doing it so that you can't feel any emotions, so you can't feel any pains. Boundaries are important, yes, but the fact that the Three of Swords is coming in the future, it is telling me that his, him setting boundaries and restrictions, you know, isn't going to work out for somebody, right? Okay, the feminine's near future position is the universe. So this is the um, end of the fool's journey major sense of completion here. I absolutely love that it's below the Empress card. There's like so much illumination here. Right? It's realizing that you are the universe looking back at yourself. There's this beautiful um all knowing, mirroring um happening here. So the five of wands the Four of Swords, and the Lover's Card. So past position, Five of Wands, overcoming obstacles, challenges. So the feminine has been tested. You know, and these are um, challenges meant to make your light shine brighter, right? So there's growth here. Um, but it caused her, or is still causing her to retreat. The Four of Swords is the same card here. So she's withdrawn. And it's a self-reflected withdrawal you know it's like looking to the past there's a, a person sitting on the shore here by a lake in self-reflection you know thinking about these challenges uh, that she's overcome and you know asking where where is this leading me right because um, this card is a major accomplishment this is going through the fire time and time again and surviving it, right? And you can see her going through the fire with the solar plexus and the uh, the knight of wands there. She's come out of this fiery, dark place. And, you know, this is universe t patting her on the back, saying, job well done, right? There's... It's like the masculine is seeing the feminine for who she is, for the way that she's handling this and recognizing that, but at the same time putting up boundaries. Um, and the feminine is withdrawing from the mental noise and the challenges and obstacles, right? She feels like she doesn't need to prove herself anymore or... You know, it's like, I'm going to continue to be in this still state. You can continue to set up these boundaries and restrictions. Um, but self-love is, is where I'm at. You know, there's this higher knowing or higher understanding of, of um, triggers and feeling of low self-worth. Do you know what I mean? She wants to find a, a way to make her light shine, light brighter, be noticed, 
by the masculine. Notice me, I want your attention, right? And it's like a self-reflection. Well, you know what? Do I really want this attention in my life, right? It's There's a, a more enlightened state here. So the future position is a lover's card. So this is a card of passion, desire, hunger, longing, though. It's longing for this connection. So since the heart chakra and the divine feminine is in the future, you know, there's this sense of um, a connection possibly that may be activated or initiated between the twins, but doesn't go anywhere. You know, it's a loop almost, right? There's this perpetual cycle that the feminine is being locked into trying to be noticed, desiring this passion in her life, you know, and not getting it, and then cycling through once again, right? So she's in this still state, but she's realizing her power, right? And she's realizing that karmic cycle that she's continuing to play out. You know, over and over again, she... She's not learning that karmic lesson, right? So it's this longing, it's wanting this connection. So this is a completion to that, I feel, right? No more of this. Now when I look up at the stars, I don't think about somebody else that I desire. I think about myself and how I can grow and be the best version that I can possibly be. Okay, so near future for the masculine is very nice. Lead, the divine masculine, mirroring. So this is in the future position as well. So there, you know, there's this self-reflection that occurs through, you know, looking at her, seeing her power, seeing her stability and groundedness. He is able to, to reflect that back to himself and see how powerful he is as well do you know what I mean it's like that's what this journey is all about self-reflection and mirroring with your twin right it's all about triggers and transformation so he steps into this power um, and again you know there's a sense of heartbreak right that he's bringing in so let's see what the confirmation cards are okay six of cups Six, or sorry, the um, Strength card and the Five of Pentacles. So past position is the Six of Cups. So this is reunion, someone from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, previous life. Okay, so that's reflecting back to this Destiny card, the Wheel of Fortune. This is all cycles. Okay, so um, perhaps there was a reunion or talk of a reunion. Um, and it didn't manifest, and I feel that way because of the fact that he's built up these walls, right? This protective, independent um, kind of energy that is ultimately causing heartbreak, okay? So it's, it's not this peaceful state of inner reflection anymore. It's more of an external 3D reality. So... Um, here in the future position, he steps into the divine masculine role. So this is power, um, authoritative outward expression, the sun, right? So, and like I was saying before, it's like he was able to reflect on this connection with the feminine in the past, right? This is memories of love, reunion. And through seeing himself through her, he was able to recognize his own strength and power and I'm saying that because of the fact that the strength card is here right it's front and center so this is not an external or forceful expression of strength like the Sun or the masculine here this is a turning in it is um, transmuting a uh, negative environment into a more gentle nurturing environment and that opens up um, you know, a channel for communication as well as giving and receiving energy exchange between you and another. But it's a loving, kind, compassionate kind of energy. So 
there's a sense that this connection from the past has, you know, his reflection on memories um, has tamed this need to conquer, right? Because this is conquering, this is protective conquering, and, and here I see a reverse of that. It's not, it's more of a receptivity, re receptive kind of nurturing, gentle energy that you would kind of see in a, a divine feminine, right? This is nurturing and loving, right? So it's like he, he steps into this power of the divine masculine, but it, it's in a very gentle way. And it's because of these memories that he has, that he holds. But the future position is the five of pentacles. So this is disconnect, feeling left out in the cold right there's a desire in for this connection here and um so you know there's a desire to fill that void or that hole within yourself this could also mean that he is disconnecting from something in the 3d in order to find his independence his freedom but it, it's requiring strength or it could mean that he is realizing how this has been a self-fulfilling prophecy you know it's creating boundaries and borders for himself um, ultimately causes a disconnect and pain or heartbreak. Final outcome for the feminine, three of swords, there you go, same card, okay, so it's the feminine that gets hurt, ultimately. Um, well, let's see what the confirmation cards are, because, I, you know, there's this heart chakra here, right, so it's like, even though she has her heart broken or is affected some way, um, she's still in a vulnerable place and she still wears her heart on her sleeve. Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. So, past position, Two of Wands. So, this is an expansion of the mind, seeing all the possibilities and making a decision to follow your higher calling, your higher purpose. So the feminine moved towards self-fulfilling this higher, you know, role in life, right? <clears throat> she wants to be um, a healer in, in some ways, spiritual healer, or I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, so the Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. It is gaining abundance and stability in your life. So there's a sense that she walked through that door in the past towards a more self-fulfilling life. And she's done a lot of soul growth and work on herself, okay, as well as groundedness and stability. You can definitely see that here. Um, but, you know, ultimately she's tested with the Seven of Swords causing heartbreak, I feel. So this is deception, envy, not being able to trust. It's almost looking back at, look at how much work I've done, right? And I don't know if I want to um, share or I feel that somebody's going to take it away from me or, you know, um, it's almost like giving an offering and then having it rejected on some level with these cards all as a sequence. So I'm going to pull a clarifier, actually, yeah, a clarifier for that from Call It Baron Reed. Confirm once again, please, Three of Swords, Metamorphosis. So again, the Death card, present position. The Feminine is going through a major release at the moment. Um, you know, uh, what I'm feeling here is... not being willing to have your heart broken again that karmic lesson is learned is what i'm feeling like this right it's like you know not being drawn into a darker state not continuing to play out that cycle anymore right it's completely clearing that energy and returning to self-love but still at the same same time holding that space and holding a loving space, right? Um, 
Yeah. Okay, so let me read that for you. Number 25. Metamorphosis. You are in the process of deep and beautiful change. Butterflies earn their wings through great effort. The process of change is often painful, for it is never without losses and sacrifices. If you are to transform from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking about a certain you're sorry, used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, you're required to release your old ideas and embrace a necessary change so you can live your best life. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that is no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining or unhealthy habits. Despite your fear, you must accept that the, this is a transformative time for you. There will be some losses involved, but you'll love what you become. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was just saying, right? It's it's cutting away those negative restrictions and turning to self, to self-love, loving yourself first before anybody else. Okay, masculine final outcome, choose your battles. So again, there's a sense of being overpowered by something, right? It, it's there's a lot of outward defensive pose here. These are, you know, if you look at this masculine here and this masculine here, and it looks like the exact same guy. And it's always looking outward at the external world. So his attention is drawn to the external. I get these mixed up. So the Three of Wands, Five of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles, just to go back to the Seven of Wands again. Okay, so the Seven of Wands is knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing those. Right? It's having confidence to speak your mind, speak up and speak out. So there's a sense of him being challenged in the future. So the Three of Wands um, is a thumbs up from spirit. This is being on the right path, um, having his dreams manifested, right? And so it's seeing the fruits of your labor, but there's a sense that there's some still some weight involved. Five of Cups is heartbreak, loss, pain. It's attaching to an idea, and then when that thing leaves... Um, it causes you this deep pain and sorrow. So the masculine um, is really struggling with a sense of power within himself, right? He's finding the courage, the strength in order to say or do something. And um, it's he's locked in a state of pain, even though he knows it's going to bring him to a more enlightened place he can't move beyond that veil of pain. So the future position is the queen of pentacles, earth energy. Um, so this is somebody who is financially free, independent, wealthy. Um, the queen of pentacles shares her abundance with all. She is mother earth. She is the caregiver as well as like a successful businesswoman. So she builds her empire. She doesn't need to rely on anybody for anything. So, I, I feel here is that the masculine is really, again, struggling with this sense of power and strength. And so, when you come up across somebody who is independent, you know, um, and as strong as this feminine figure is, you know, I, I feel again that he gets locked into a cycle of low self-worth causing his own heartbreak creating boundaries and restrictions over and over and over again you know and in the sense that he he starts to feel powerful again and something sets him off and then he retreats 
Okay, so what is the feminine bringing into the union? Base chakra. Insecurity. Lowest chakra. Now, I'm not feeling this insecurity coming from her per se. I, I feel that she's realizing she's stuck in a cycle and ultimately is reborn out of, out of that vulnerable state and you know, grows her butterfly wings. Faces herself, ultimately. Okay, just get in there. Okay, so... Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Sacral Chakra. So, past vision, position, Five of Swords, conflict, defeat, negative en energy, finger pointing. So, um, you know, it's pointing to the Eight of Swords in the past here, right? It's a negative vibration that is was triggered, and she felt disempowered. And I feel that the feminine is completely um, cutting off contact with the masculine. Sure, her sense of safety, um, she no longer draws a sense of safety from the masculine. She finds that power and strength within herself. She's not looking to the external world to, to feel whole. When she does, she feels conflicted. She feels, you know, um, like, you know, when she, when energy is not being reciprocated from the masculine, when, when the masculine is setting up boundaries like that, it takes away from the feminine's power, right? From if she gives herself when she gets nothing, right? So there's a sense that she's completely cutting the masculine out of her life. And, and returning to herself, finding her own security and strength within herself, not looking to the outside anymore. So the Sacral Chakra future position, this is where your emotions are stored. So she's seeking emotional balance. Um, she's seeking... Hmm. Let me pull, pull the clarifier for that. Actually, I just found the Osho Zen. Okay, what do you mean by the Sacral Chakra? Actually, this entire series of cards, Spirit, what additional messages do you have? The dream. Very interesting. So, again, um, you know, there's this sense of a fantasy that's been being replayed over and over on the masculine side and now on the feminine side. Um, so the dream is holding on to this idea, this vision of a perfect person for you out there. And, and you're not going to be happy uh, unless you have that person, right? They're your fl twin flame, they're your match, they're your mirror, um, and you can't live without them, right? So when you restrict yourself to just one person, um, you know, there's this sense of rejection that you continually put yourself in and so it's taking away from you know you're 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 looking for fulfillment without um outside of yourself is what i'm trying to say so let me just read that so i think the feminine is at a stage where she is you know realizing that it's probably time to to completely let go of the masculine you know okay so some enchanted evening you're going to meet your soulmate the perfect person who will meet all your needs and fulfill all your dreams right wrong the fantasy that songwriters and poets are so fond of perpetuating has its roots in memories of the womb where we are so secure and at one with our mother it's no wonder we hanker to return to that place all our lives, but put it quite brutally, it is a childish dream, and it's amazing we hang on to it so stubbornly in the face of reality, 
Nobody, whether it's your current mate or some dreamed-off partner in the future, has any obligation to deliver your, uh, de sorry, to deliver your happiness on a platter, nor could they even if they wanted to. Real love comes not from trying to solve our neediness by depending on another, but by developing our own inner richness and maturity. Then we have so much love to give that our, we are naturally draw lovers towards us. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. You know, it's a self-love and it's not, it's not allowing these fantasies, these thoughts to come into your mind anymore, right? It's, it's um, completely disconnecting and releasing that and going within thinking, you know, it's a self-love and as a result, you draw that, that love towards you. Okay, so what is masculine bringing in, re refusing to see? So yeah, again, putting up boundaries. Um, you know, the two of swords is having two choices. Both have far-reaching consequences, so there's indecision here, not knowing which one to choose. Um, but he, I feel, is the one that is blocking himself off, not opening up. Whereas the feminine, like I said, is more of an introspective energy. Page of Wands, Third Eye Chakra, interesting, and the Knight of Pentacles. So past position, Page of Wands. So this is either exciting news, um, a great idea, like um, an epiphany, realization, you know, so it's kind of pointing to the Sun card destiny, the hermit, and the feminine, okay, so there is this awakening, this aha, and I feel, you know, since the third eye chakra is in his present position and what he's bringing into the union, I feel that the walls are cracking, he's starting to, to see his own power as well as the feminine's power, right, so there's a third eye here, right, but he's wearing a metal helmet and, you know, so there's illumination coming from intuition, looking to the past, looking to what made him happy and realizing, you know, how it's, how this connection is helping him to grow and find his strength. So the, the future position is the Knight of Wands, so this is movement forward very slow calculated movement one step at a time right so this shows that he's been on a spiritual journey for a long time and he's gaining illumination but he's still stuck at a crossroads and so that's why the feminine doesn't feel safe is because there's no it's almost like she feels completely disconnected from the masculine in the 5d you know, even though the mouse is sending out 5D vibrations with the third eye, it's the feminine's got her, her back turned. Her focus is elsewhere. You know, and, but the mouse is moving towards her very slowly, right? Okay, so, um, the foundation, not for you. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely the feminine is completely letting go, I feel. So one card for the feminine first. Yep, the full card and masculine seven of cups. Yes, makes sense. So let me read the card to you first. So the foundation is a shared energy between uh, both the feminine and masculine. Okay, so a clear knowing that something is being denied you. Rejection is God's protection. Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them. That is obvious from the beginning. But the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them, refuse to see. When relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you're being prote protected by the divine. If you are the one who must reject the other, remember that you do so for both your sakes. For every pot there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. Okay, so there is a 
doubt, major doubt happening on both sides, most definitely. But the feminine is bringing in the flow card, so this is um, complete let go, taking a leap of faith, right? It's not having any expectations, no desires, and it's a rebirth, zero point, coming from source. So from this ending, from this disconnection, um, there is a new journey for the feminine, right? The near future is the uh, end of the fool's journey, um, but I feel that she's ending this connection so that she can move towards a more self-loving state. The masculine is bringing in the seven of cups, so this is knowing what you want, knowing your destination, not knowing how to get there, so it's confusion. The message to this card is to follow your heart, so there's a sense that the masculine is stuck in a state of confusion, not knowing what to do, not feeling um, that things are moving forward, right? There's, again, the feminine is turning her back on the masculine, the masculine is moving towards her, but she... She, she is not, she is not, um, you know, engaging in this game, if you want to call it that. So the crown chakra is yin, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I was feeling that yin, yin energy on the masculine side, right, with, over here with this gentle, nurturing kind, loving energy. So the masculine is trying to find that, you know, he's trying to tame the external masculine energy and find a more gentle energy within, within himself, right? And because he's unable to do that, you know, he keeps recycling through this feeling of low self-confidence. Um, whereas because the masculine is creating boundaries unconsciously. Uh, the feminine is picking up on that and ending a cycle of karmic lesson. Do you know, it's uh, feeling hopeful, um, looking to the masculine, feeling rejected, right? Feeling locked out and then finding hope again and continuing to cycle through that. So she's releasing attachments being reborn. So the yin card is feminine energy of receptivity. So I feel that on both sides. So it says the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move, gathering information, taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. Let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortless, effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised, right? So, action, I mean, yeah, actions speak louder than words, right? So, just a l releasing control completely. You know, being receptive, both are being receptive, but I don't know if I really feel that. The masculine is struggling with that ability to be receptive, but but he's going in the right direction. So one for the feminine first, nine of cups, and masculine, two of swords, same card, stuck at a crossroads. Okay, so he sees his feminine off in the distance, and he is moving towards her, um, but he's projecting an energy of not moving at all, if that makes sense. And so he's moving towards that open cup, okay, and the feminine's bringing in the nine of cups, so this is dreams coming true, wish fulfilled, an arrival at a place where you're surrounded by love, music, good wine, dancing, fun, doing the things that you you love and enjoy, right? So as a crowning energy, it's yin, receptivity, and it's love, abundance of love flowing through. So it's causing the masculine to look at that energy, and he's being drawn to that energy. 
It's a heart-centered treasure island. Wow. I mentioned at the beginning here, you know, that it feels to me like the mouse is creating an island for himself, right? So, number nine... The law of attraction, there you go. Bringing dreams into fruition, the result of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains in the sharing of good fortune. Your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need. But they may not see that right now. No matter how long you have been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourself and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable, valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. <clears throat> the message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. Very nice. So, obviously, both hearts are open. Even though you know, there's a sense of trying to close off. There's, you're both open. Feminine first, Eight of Wands, and the Masculine, Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Wands could represent communication, texting, right? But it, you know, it's Cupid's arrows, but it's positive vibrations being sent out into the universe. And you can see that the Feminine, right, is sending that positive vibration out, even though there's a sense of her being locked out, restricted, you know, she still gives. So she's still sending that vibration out. Um, the masculine has the Eight of Cups. So this is a pil pilgrimage to self-discovery. So this is withdrawing emotionally. So either he's withdrawing emotionally from something in his environment or he's withdrawing emotionally from the feminine. But ultimately, there's a sense of him moving towards her, right? Um towards Treasure Island, towards abundance, towards that thing that makes you happy. All right, so the overall energy for the reading is new life, beautiful. Okay. So, birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. New energy enters old relationships and new relationships are bursting with sweetness and vibrancy, only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, heart full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. So, new life. Hmm. I'm not really seeing a new beginning happening, but I feel that the new life is a self-discovery one. It's, you know, it's as a result of disconnecting and focusing on self-love, it sends both twins in a direction. Um, you know, that ultimately leads each other back to each other, you know, destiny. But I feel a separate growth occurring here. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids, and this will be the final message from the universe. Okay, well, I said okay before I stopped, so this is for the feminine, and it is mermaid, mother, and child, and that's in reverse, and for the masculine is naughty mermaid, upright. Okay, so please tell me, mother. What shall I become? 
Who should I love and lose before our life is done? Help me understand, Mother, how to lead my life. I need to know before I become a weary wife. So the meaning in reverse. Someone needs wise counsel. A younger friend, colleague, or relative is in need of your advice. Open your eyes to the needs of those around you, and you will find the one in want of assistance. However, be careful of what you advise, as he or she is very likely to take your advice and hold you responsible for the result, for good or for ill. Um... Hmm. Not. I guess just be careful of, you know, negative talk. Don't surround yourself with negative people. Okay, so the masculine's forty-one. Your facade projects a hurting heart, detached from love, a self apart. Yet, is that what is felt inside? Or is this a front of veneer of pride? Exactly, exactly, right? He's creating boundaries, restrictions. He's projecting this masculine energy, but inside, you know, there's this sense of turmoil. Others ask, of course they do, what have I longed to ask you? From where does this disdain arise? Why have you such conceited eyes? A contemptuous mermaid lounges in her pool, bored with her company and letting it show. She displays her disdain openly and comes across as conceited, detached, or and catty through her facial expressions, body language, and aura. Exactly. And the feminine is picking up on that, right? You know, and realizing maybe there's a different reality. You know, maybe this isn't the masculine of her, her dreams, right? If it's if it's somebody that is causing you to feel this negative energy, right, is that somebody that you really want in your life? So a contemptuous mermaid lounges in her pool, bored, I already said that, right? Okay, so the meaning, take a long hard look in the mirror. It is time to st step back and take a long hard look in the mirror, literally and figuratively. What are you saying to the world? Does your outward appearance reflect the inner you? Are you portraying yourself in the way you want to be seen by others? Um, do you appear, appear professional, unique, mature, quirky, or is your look just convenient? This is a good time to update your personal style with a revamped wardrobe, new hairstyle, or perhaps sharp new accessories. This is also a time to think about your body language. Do you come across as open or friendly, sarcastic or stuck up, frumpy or sloppy? Pay attention to your posture and physique, as well as your facial expressions. Smile a little more and great things may open up to you. Whoa. All right, so yeah, he's projecting this negative, you know, bored, contemptuous kind of energy. So I'm going to read the 33 upright here. Okay, so a young mermaid <clears throat> child shelters her calm cove with her, shelters in a calm cove with her mother. She is cautious but receptive to the words of sage advice bestowed upon her. So heed maternal advice. Be attentive to advice from a trusted elder family member, a mater maternal figure from an old, older generation has much wisdom to offer when you need it the most. Be humble. Now is the time to listen and, and absorb. You may not hear what you want to hear, but rest assured you will hear what you need to hear. So listen with an open mind and with assurance that years of experience lies behind those words of wisdom you will receive. Be receptive to many venues. The advice may come in a form of a personal visit, an unexpected call, or any number of forms of communication. Um, while you should be responsive, do not actively pursue this advice. It must come unbid unbidden if it is to be sincere. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I can't speculate with that one. Whatever it means to you, means to you. Right, so... Um, yeah. All right. So I would love to hear your comments. Um, and thank you again for your likes and shares. And don't forget to subscribe. Show your love. All right. Peace. Much love.